What is up guys, my fan 34 here, how's everybody doing today? Today we have Middle Earth Shadows of Mordor, and I'm going to be playing challenge mode for you guys. Uh, we're going to go into a test speed and just jump right on into it. So how's everybody doing today? Has anybody actually played Shadows of Mordor, and what do you guys think of it? Uh, I think it's pretty actually goddamn good. And, um, I do have a few complaints here and there, certain things that... That I'll probably touch on throughout the video. But um, overall, it's a pretty good game, and I do recommend it. So, challenge mode is fairly straightforward. Kill five captains and kill a war chief. Um, there's speed, which uh, you have to do it in 15 minutes or less. Um, you have to also earn a certain point of advantage, and you have to do it without dying three, three times or more. So... Well, actually, four times or more. Um, so we're going to go and start right away, and let's go find our first captain. Uh, there's a feast going on right here, so we're going to jump into that. Um, you'll notice a lot of uh, Assassin's Creed-like features, uh, like the Eagle Vision. That's definitely something you'll notice right away. The stealth system is not nearly Assassin's Creed-like. But it's close enough that I, I'm fairly comfortable with it. Um, the game itself is extremely good. The uh, controls are a little weird to get used to at first because of uh, the different button layouts and the inclusion of uh, uh, what's it called? Wraith mode. Considering you don't usually have to go into a separate mode to fire air, fire any uh, weapons in Assassin's Creed. But uh, this is our first uh, captain we're going to go kill, is this guy, he's having a feast. This stuff's got a kick like a ground! Drink up! And he's just going to have a very bad day. And this is his weakness window. You can look at these usually any time throughout the story mode by uh, going into a... Uh, the camp and then interrogating people about uh, the certain uh, war chiefs. You'd have to interrogate a worm or another captain to find out these weaknesses, otherwise it'll just give you a name and their location. So this guy is vulnerable to ranged attacks, stealth attacks, and he's afraid of categories. We'll run into those guys a little bit later probably. Alright, so I'm just going to straight up take him out. I don't want to dilly dally with him, so we're just going to... Slice his head off and be done with it. Whenever you kill a captain, they drop a rune, which is that little bow icon right there. And so we're just going to collect that really quick. And we're just going to move right on. These guys are terrified of me, so I'm just going to take this guy out. Uh, stealth finishers are probably the best way to gain EXP early on. Um... So, what should we do now? We're gonna go grab that epic rune from my last run. I actually tried to record this earlier, but it didn't work out. Oh, look, there's Captain on the way as well. So, what are you weak against? He's weak against ranged attacks and stealth finishers. He's afraid of... He hates categories. He has a poison weapon. He calls other allies to fight for him, and he doesn't run away. So, what we're gonna do is... We're just going to run up, stealth assassinate him, and be done with it. Uh, you can literally just run up to people, stealth assassinate them, and just keep on going. That guy's going to alert the rest of the people around, but we're not going to let him, because that's just going to give us trouble. Is this door open? I've never actually seen one of those. That thing up there is a category, but I think it's in a cage. Alright, so what we're going to do is wreak a little bit of havoc by opening up the category cage and running. <laughs> that guy just got eaten. Actually, you know what? We're going to mount the category too. Because I feel like having one. You'll be seeing this, that little animation a lot. And you're going to either hate it or love it. PC, it's a bit easier to do because it has you take the mouse instead. Oh, look! We found another captain! And apparently he was weak against categories, and we just outright killed him. Well, that was good. 
Whenever you dismount a category, he'll still be your ally. Which is good for you, and bad for everybody around you. So what we're gonna do is just go run and grab our category and get the hell out of here before we get overwhelmed. Categories are actually fairly fast, so getting around the map is pretty useful with them. Alright, and there's that uh, epic rune that I wanted to come and grab because I was curious about it. Oh, it looks like your category is gone. Alright, we're just going to get rid of these guys really quick, hopefully. And now there's a bunch of different classes of enemies in here. There's archers, obviously. There's the mainstay warriors, which are basically every other guy. Uh, there's defenders, the big guys with the shields. Hunters, the guys with the spear. If you can see them back there, I'm working my way to them with this guy. And there's berserkers, who usually have two axes, from what I remember, right? But every once in a while, you'll uh, see them. That was my Wraith Flash, a special move you get and unlock later in the game. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, which war chief is this? Hosha the Brazer. So we're going to move over to Sauron's army. And in challenge mode, it appears that everything is already unlocked, so you don't have to go and research guys and look up their weaknesses and stuff. Uh, Horseshoe the Brazer. He has three captains as bodyguards. And that guy's pretty far. That guy's pretty far. And that guy's pretty far, but they'll all show up. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go take out this captain. By starting this mission right here. And whenever you start a mission, it just basically clears out everything that's going on around you. So if you got caught, run to a missionary, I go in. And his master shall answer and it'll be all good because then it'll reset everything around you no one's chasing you nobody knows you're around here um whenever you fight a war chief you have to complete another objective first the first failed recording i have of this was a uh you had to kill five archers before going down because the dude was an archer and apparently birds of a feather hang together so you know there's slaves scattered throughout the area and you can free them by killing their captors uh, we don't want him to get away. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out our bow. And we're going to shadow strike him. Or shadow kill him, actually. Which is an upgraded move of the shadow strike. Which is good. Now we can get rid of this guy. And it's all quiet again. Alrighty. So we're going to move and make our way to that yellow dot of the guy we have to go make him scream and cry for his mommy. Which is kind of hilarious, actually. Alright, so... I don't think that's a... Uh, is that a zipline? Yeah, that's a zipline, actually. We're going to use that to get across to the other side. Alright, so... Let's go! And you can jump off zip lines at any time, which is good. You'll see the little A pop up whenever I do something. Um, okay. We got plenty of guys down there, but we don't want to go head on. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot at that campfire. Why? Because explosions. Don't ask me why it explodes, but it does. Um, what else can we do to thin the herd out? Uh, we'll just start sniping people. If you fully charge your shots, it'll, uh, it's more than likely to kill them. Um, sadly. Alright, we're just gonna hold on to this guy for 20 seconds, and while he, uh, screams for his mommy. The best way to do this is actually just kind of corner yourself, which is usually a pretty bad idea, but what are you gonna do? So, he's done screaming for his mommy, and what we're going to do is try not to die, but uh, her shoes here, and now we got to deal with him and his captains, so we should probably pick off his captains first, that would probably be our best bet, so what we're going to do is basically uh, sneak over here. 
Ah, damn it, he saw me. There's no way out unless you look forward to bleeding all over my boots. <sighs> Alright, let's go kind of escape from them. Whenever those things turn yellow, it's basically just like the alert system in Assassin's Creed. They can't see you anymore. Um, so let's see, who do we got around? There's Horseshoe himself, who's fierce categories and mounted beasts, and can be killed easily by those. There's... This guy, who can be easily killed with either ranged or stealth. And what about the guy behind? Uh, you gotta be pretty particular with your uh, view to to see who you want. It's kind of annoying. It's another complaint I have. Alright, there we go. Uh, he can also be killed with ranged attacks. He also is scared of basically everything. And what about you? Alright, so we're gonna kill the little dudes first. These two, right here, because they're apparently easy to kill. What we're gonna do is just. scare them like that. We're gonna try this again. Oh, he's crazy. Wonderful. He's gonna end you really quick. There we go. And we're gonna get a kind of better fight. Protect Master! Kill man! Alright, now that he's green, we can grab him. And we're gonna actually turn him to our side. And we're gonna send a death threat to the guy we're killing because it's gonna give us. Actually, no, we can't. Uh, so instead, we're gonna. We're just gonna dismiss him. So he's gonna be our little. Once we finish this war, Captain, we'll be all set and ready to go. Alrighty there. And Horseshoe's done! Fix. Pretty bad way to go. Stabbed in the throat and then his head's chopped off because, you know, stabbing him in the throat wasn't enough. Alright, so that is all for challenge mode. I completed it in 15 minutes, I didn't die. Uh, did I hit the score limit? No, I was close though. I was very close to hitting the score limit. Alright, so that was challenge mode, guys. Tell me what you think about it. If you want to see more, let me know. Uh, we can try the uh, other test of, uh, I don't remember what it is, trial of strength or something. But we can try that, or we can try endless mode if you guys would prefer. Alright, so leave a comment, a like, a rating. be much appreciated. Um, and with that, this is White Fang 34 signing out.